Hi, um, so thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show my rectus journal. Um, I don't really refer to it as a rectus journal because I didn't follow the prompts. Um, I just, I had the book and I wanted to do my own thing and I just kind of used it as a, as a, as a canvas, um, in order to create this. So I kind of like to call it a found objects book and you'll see why. So many of the things in here I've collected um, from packages in the mail. For example, this one that I got from um, Big Bud Press. Um, this is from some mail that I got. Stickers. A, a lot of stickers I do buy, but there's even some that I've just found. Um, like this one, there's candy wrappers and stuff and I and tags. Um, and I really, really like to do um, color pages. So, like, this page is obviously red. And, and you know, there's different colored ones. Um, and I'm, like, a really big fan of Betty Boop. So, there's lots of stuff of, of her on here. And I also really enjoy making this book very interactive. So, as you can see, you can move a lot of the stuff and open it and stuff like that. I've just always been, like, a huge hoarder, I guess you could say. Um, I have a hard time throwing away stuff that I find interesting or cute or hold some sort of memory. Um, so I'll get like packages in the mail and you know people send like little thank you letters or extra little stickers or the packaging of something. Um, for example this one it's like the little paper that comes with the um, calico critters. And I just can't throw it away because it's just so cute. Um, this page is super interesting because I did it with Gatorade, so it used to smell bad. <laughs> um, this is another one of the colored ones. This one's blue. Um, it has some blue stuff. And the other one on the, on the right is a rainbow one. This is another way I like to incorporate everyday items into my work, like the receipts and the sticky notes, as well as this plastic bag. And that one is a little thank you note from an order I got um, from another artist. So I really like to incorporate those aspects into the book. Um, so here's another colored page. This one is green. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just collect a bunch of stuff. And a lot of people have asked me like, because um, I did a video about this on TikTok and people asked me a lot like where do you get all this stuff like where do you find it and it was just like I've just I've been working on this book since 2018 um, so I've collected a lot of stuff <laughs> like these are like um, birthday cards that my friends made me back when I turned I think 18 19 I'm gonna turn 21 now so I've had these for a long time um, this is a, a pink page the blue stitching on this page is also something I really enjoy doing in this book. I think it adds an interesting texture with the thread. Um, this page is really fun as well. I used a Fruit Loops box and that's a vintage photograph. It, I believe it was from the 70s and I drew on it. Just glued it on, on all on there. Um, for this one, I used magazine pieces. And then these beads, I got them from the thrift store. It was just like a jar full of them and that I, I used them there um for this page i actually got these stamps right here from an artist um i found his address online and then i just sent him a letter like oh i'm an artist and i you know i'm sending you this piece of art and he sent me that back so that was pretty cool this is another spread where i used some um big bud packaging um i always order from them and they always send like really cute bags and these cute cards in their packages and i don't i don't want to throw them away um I'd, I'd rather make them into art or incorporate them into my art than just toss them in the trash These stickers, um, the bottom one is from my art and the top one is from a friend's art. I'll put their info on the bio. Um, these 
Uh, this page is one of my favorite ones. It has lots of memories from when I um, visited Mexico, as well as this one. I just really like all the vintage photographs. Um, it's like a little rainbow eraser and just like glitter and confetti in there. I thought that was super fun and interactive. I really like like the clear aspect of the of the little clear bag. I thought this page was pretty funny. This is a super old picture of me and my cousin. Um, and also just El Peje. Um, if you guys are Mexican, you guys know like the, the precedent. <laughs> it's just funny to me, at least. Um, this is another one, another Big Bud bag. <laughs> and I have been playing so much Animal Crossing. I just wrote down Animal Crossing cult leader and I thought it was pretty funny. This is another example where I used a thank you note from a package as well as this one from a little blind box of a toy. Um, and this is part of a plastic bag that I used before in the book and I, I put it here. And this one, me and my brother drew these Spongebob characters. I thought they were pretty funny. And then some vintage photographs. Again, I'm a, I'm a hoarder that doesn't like to throw things away, so this is another example. This is like when you get a sticker sheet, what's left over after you peel the stickers. I didn't want to throw it away. <laughs> um, and this one just has some pins that I got at Disney. And this little flap, like my friend made it for me. So I, I put it into this book because it, it, I really love it. My, my best friend made it for me. This is a page that holds a lot of um, sentimental value, um, like these little envelopes. My grandparents, every year, they give me uh, some birthday money and they always write on them, so I've kept them over the years. Um, this one, another one of my, my family members, some little notes from them. Um, there's a picture of me when I was in kinder, and then um, this little note that I got from a package. And it, the package came in this envelope, so I used the envelope. And that's a picture of me and my mom. This is actually one of the first pages I, well, spreads I did on the book. Um, and I wanted to make like a rainbow gradient. Um, so yeah, that was super fun. And then this one is all Halloween themed. And this, all of these little envelopes, um, my friend actually made this page for me. And she wrote little notes inside of each one. <laughs> and I, I'm not gonna go through all of them, <laughs> but... I showed you one there. So yeah, they're just little notes that my friend wrote to me. And then she put a quarter in there. So yeah. This is like one of the few things I've ever made digitally. So yeah, I, had, I wanted to put it in there. Um, this is a bag with teeth. Um, I don't know whose teeth they are, but they're there. I think this spread is is the one that's most filled with just quote unquote trash, I think. Um, there's just lots of stuff I've collected. Um, there's even like, I think there's a piece of tape in there that I found on the floor, like in a, at a Target parking lot and just, just stuff. So this is the ending of the book and I just wanted to say thank you so much. I've wanted to show this off for so long and thank you for watching. I really enjoyed making this video.